In this video, I discuss the stage 4 of the Reba plan of work called as technical design. So after discussing the stage 0, stage 1, stage 2 and stage 3, now it's time to discuss the stage 4 called as the technical design. So the name of the stage is technical design. Now you might think that this stage consists of all the technical uh, difficulties that they are but I'm going to make it very simple for you guys. So in order to make this simple, I have divided this video or this stage into two different sections. The first section is containing all of the things that have been passed on and carried on from the stage 0, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. These are the things that have to be furthermore reviewed and more, more updated. The second section will include all of the things that are new, specifically new to this particular stage. So let's discuss the first the second section actually what are the things that are new in this stage so there are basically two new things that have been introduced in this particular stage the first one is the technical design of the project that you are building right as the name of the stage suggests we have to finalize and review and update and basically get over with the design process and in order to do that we have to complete and finish the whole technical design of the structure that we are building. This is the technical design which will contain all of the details that will help the actual site workers to construct the particular structure that we are building. Now after the contractor has made his technical design and it's totally approved and finalized, now it's time to conclude this whole stage by adding on the designs from the specialist subcontractor that has been appointed at the start of the project itself. So these were some of the new things that have been included in this stage. Now let's move on to the another section. What are the things that have to be furthermore reviewed, updated and to be looked on? First on our list we have the project execution plan. As we discussed in the previous stage which is very important to the execution of the whole project. Next we have the handing over and the operational strategies which were furthermore discussed in the stage 3. Then we have to also finalize and review the whole construction program according to which the whole project execution will take place and the, all of the health and safety strategies which will be implemented throughout the whole project. And last but not the least, we have the sustainability assessment that needs to be reviewed and updated upon. So in conclusion, after this stage is completed, it basically concludes the work of the design team. It does not actually conclude the work of the design team because after the construction is even started and at the time of construction, also, there might be some variations in the design which has to be again dealt with by the project te design team. So, but basically after this stage, all of the technical designs are fully reviewed, updated and completed. And they are ready to be issued for construction, which is the next stage which we will be talking about in the next video. So, if you guys uh, thought this video was educational or it was good, please hit the like button. And if you guys have any questions, leave the comment down below. And this has been Naman Singhal from Rising Gulf. And I will see you guys in the next video. In which video? In which we will discuss the stage 5, which is construction.